What size you pass do I need? Let's answer that question. Let's talk a little bit about uninterruptible power supplies. Presented to you by myself, John W. First from EBS Booster Blog. Okay, so why do you need a UPS in first place? Imagine all of a sudden the power goes out. The spreadsheet that you're working on for hours suddenly disappears. The monitor gets dark, it's silent, all your unsaved work is lost forever. And it could be worse, even your hardware could get damaged, especially the hard disks. So here's the answer, you need a UPS to protect your computer and your work from power failure. But you need to get one of the right size. There are two ways of figuring out how much power you'll need. You can measure it. I mean, if you have the equipment to do so, it's certainly the best way. Or you can get on your knees and write down all the ratings from the manufacturers. Ratings like this here or that. But slowly, I take you through step by step. You will see the input ratings. You always look for the input values. You will see volts, amps, watts, volt amperes. All you need to worry about are the volt amperes and the watts. And you keep uh, track of them separately for now. So sometimes it looks a little bit more complicated than it really is. Here, for example, we don't see volt amperes, we don't see watts. And we even see two voltages, 100 and 240. So what are we doing in that case? It's not a problem. Let me show you. You take the low voltage, which is, which is 100 in this example. You multiply the volts with the amperes. That means 100 times 0 0.13. And that's the volt ampere rating that you need to write down for this piece of equipment. And in case you have milliamps, that's not a big deal either, as you can say. Now let's do an example together really quickly. So we get down on our knees and get those ratings. The computer is rated at 700. The monitor requires a little calculation. So we will take 100 times 0 0.5. Remember, you take the low voltage rating for this. The modem is rated in watts, so we keep track of that in right column separately. The inkjet printer uses milliamps. Watch out for that and we add everything up. And one last thing that we need to do is we need to divide the 25 watts by 0 0.6, which gives 42 volt amperes. We add it with the 900 and get a total requirement for our equipment of 942 volt amperes. That's it. So it was not really that complicated, right? That means we can go shopping for a 1000 volt ampere rated UPS in that case. Okay, hope you liked the video. you find more information at my blog post at fcon21.biz slash 307. Go there now, leave a comment please, tell me what you think, rate the video. I would love to hear your opinion on this. So, see you later, bye bye, thanks for watching the video.